Hello, I'm James Marquez, and today I'm going to be talking about how to build a multi-million dollar business. Um, I've, getting, I've gotten asked a few times by different colleagues and other marketing professionals, like, how do you assess a business? How do you grow a business? And so I wanted to just step you through that process, and hopefully you'll see some ways that you can grow your business or help your clients. Um, but You know, these are just really multi-million dollar strategies, really simple. Um, <laughs> in most cases, it's right in front of your face. I'm going to share my screen. Um, today, we are going to be talking about, um, we're going to be talking about uh, Peer 36. That's the company we're going to review today. Um, the reason why... I chose this company is because of the venue. Um, they have a, a beautiful venue. Um, I love entertainment spaces. I'm very big on that type of stuff. Um, because I like doing events. I like interactive things, interactive brand activations. Uh, I, I believe that marketing should be very interactive. Uh, we're in a, an experience based economy where people are looking for events, something outside of the regular like dinner and a movie, right? And so um, as I pitch companies, as I grow businesses, I wanna share strategies that have worked um, and also, you know, maybe get some new clients from it as well too. So um, Peer 36, uh, one of the first things that I see um, as soon as I Google them is the reviews, right? So if you look at the reviews here, um, it's a 4.3. They could definitely get better reviews because there are strategies for that, right? AI marketing software is the number one tool uh, to use to, to generate and filter Google reviews in a positive way. What do I mean by that? Um, so let's say you have a client that comes through, has an experience, and then you send them an email, really more on the hospitality, just following up to make sure the experience was great. Give us a rating one through five to let us know how well that went, right? And let's say they give you a two. Well, what happens now is that email, that uh, feedback is redirected to management. And now management should have some sort of marketing um plan in place, customer service, hospitality plan in place to deal with negative reviews, negative feedback, right? And at this point, that's where that strategy comes into play. So once uh, a two star has, has been given in the email, again, automatically because of AI software, marketing software, you're able to boom, get an email to management. This person had a bad experience. This is what happened. And then your strategy goes from there. Uh, but the second thing that it does is it allows you not to get that two star on Google, right? Uh, it allows you to correct the situation because as you may know, sometimes it's not always the brand's fault. You know, uh, sometimes the customer is wrong. You know, and uh, you want to make sure that you're um, filtering these reviews in a positive way where you're able to fix problems and you're able to improve on customer experiences as opposed to just people leaving a review on Google that can really affect your business. Right. Um, that's the big thing here is that. Um, negative reviews can really affect your business. And when I talk about growing brands, multi-million dollar brands, uh, giving them uh, ways to, to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars, this is one key way. Now, just imagine they have a 4.3. What if they had a 4.8? How many more bookings would they get with a 4.8 rating? And let's just say each booking is, I mean, this is a nice venue, you know, as you'll see. Um, but let me just do some quick math here. I'm just going to do some quick math. Let's just say they had a 4.8 and out of the year, they got 20 extra bookings. Right. And let's just say uh, out of those, out of those, out of 20 bookings, the average, the average for peer 36, which I don't know, let's just say it's 35,000. Right. So you got 20 bookings times 35,000. That's $700,000. $700,000, if they get 20 extra bookings a year from Google reviews because they had a better rating. 
And that's just one strategy right there. I mean, we're just on the front of the page, right? Um, so let me go back to my notes. I mean, I have notes, but again, this is this is what I saw as I as I looked up this company, right? A four point three, not necessarily that bad, but and thousands. Look at these Google reviews, seven thousand Google reviews. That is crazy. They should they should, you know should be at a four point eight. You would definitely want to be at a four point eight or higher. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the other thing that I noticed as I scrolled down the page is. Uh, Uh, the, the links, right? Like who who's linking to this company? Uh, what type of SEO strategy is going on right here? I don't really see um, the big, big name brand companies like uh, the New York Times or Huffington Post or none of those big brands, right? So when you're an uh, event space like this, of this stature, you want to be able to have those PR links right here. Um, and so... That's another strategy that I, that could easily bring you more money. Because imagine you're going to looking for an event, do a wedding. You're you're a Wall Street executive or something like that, and boom, you come to this page and you see they've been in Huffington Post. You see and they've been in the New York Times, and you know they they've got articles that link back to them from you know all these reputable places. Well, guess what? You're more likely to want to spend money, and now you're well over a million dollars uh, in just two strategies alone. Um, but let's go to the page. Let's go to the website. See what's going on here. Really love their website. Love, I love videos. Um, strong videos, hero videos right here. Boom, seven thousand annual unique visitors. I mean, very strong, showcasing different events, different things that they use the space for. Uh, I love this video right here. Um, some of the other things. that I really enjoy. Again, when you go through their page, they got the, uh, the, 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 influ the social, I mean, not influencers, but that's good too. Um, celebrities right here. Right. Um, I love that. I love that they're showcasing again, just a different variety of what they can do with the space. That's really important with event spaces. Um, one of the things that I would definitely improve on is the call to action buttons, right? Like more info. It's really basic. Um, submit, You know, uh, this right here is a newsletter. Um, I would automatically offer some sort of real strong promo here. You know, 10% off if you book before. Um, you know, find out how to save up to 15000 signing up now type thing, right? Like really strong call to actions. You know, what are people, what are brands using their newsletter for? Are they really using it to educate, entertain, inspire, sell, or are they just using it to sell? These are things that, you know, um, you really have to take a deeper dive into brands and see, because again, this is where the millions of dollars is laying around for these businesses and they don't even know it half of the time. Not saying that Peer um, 36, doesn't know this. I'm just saying this is based on what I'm seeing on the outside. Um, I would also move the celebrity proof down here up to the top because people love that. Again, if you got a lot of money and you see that LeBron James has been at your event, well, guess what? You want to do your event there too. So just little things like that can increase your, your, your uh, bookings. Uh, and you, you know, you're, you're making multi-millions of dollars a year in one year. based on just these small little tweaks and strategies um, that you can make on this page right here. Um, I went through some of the other stuff too, um, like the virtual tour, which is really dope. Um, they got venue information, private show, they got everything up here. One of the other things I would add quickly is testimonials to each of these, right? And just kind of showcasing some of the businesses that have been there and the testimonials that they have. Social media is a huge thing for brands, you know, businesses across the world use social media to, to make a lot of their money. Uh, and so this is one way that every business should be making money is using social media. Uh, right off the bat, you see they haven't posted since May of 20, uh, 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 May 24th. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity here. There's a lot of opportunity when you're not even using your social media uh, pages and posting. Um Let me see here. Hold on. Uh, the other thing, too, is I noticed um, you don't see like a lot of collaboration. 
uh, brand deal type stuff, you know, like this is a great opportunity to kind of show some behind the scenes stuff um, when it comes to, you know, your social media accounts. Um, they're, they're looking at their Instagram. They haven't posted since September 8th on their Instagram account. Almost uh, 4,500 followers. You know, a um, lot of opportunity again here on their Instagram account. Uh, you know, these are just simple ways that businesses can grow their uh, revenue streams, you know, because, again, you're collaborating. You know, um, there's a lot of opportunity for you to take advantage of this online real estate that you have when it comes to Facebook and Instagram. These are trusted platforms that people, millions and millions of people are on every single day. Your clients, your customers, they are on Instagram and Facebook every day. They're also on YouTube. Uh, looks like they've been doing some YouTube stuff. This is awesome. Highly recommend doing YouTube. Um, the reason being is because, again, uh, we're talking online real estate. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world owned by Google. Google is number one. It makes sense to have a YouTube strategy, a YouTube channel. I've been able to generate millions of dollars for clients just by using YouTube and a, I mean, yeah, YouTube and a phone, uh, literally YouTube and a phone. So, you know, this is, we're in the digital era. So, you know, brands like this, Pier 36 should be making money off of media as well. When you think about all these big brands that come through uh, Pier 36, I see Amazon here, um, Univision, Disney, like these are billion dollar brands and Pier 36 can be connecting their brand with these brands just through media, as you see with some of this stuff here. But it's really uh, about digging in more with long form content. I see some of these and most of these are like under three minutes. Um, and so, you know, again, interviewing uh, production companies, interviewing hosts, interviewing talent, you know, uh, just really thinking more media because you are in that space uh, behind the scenes stuff. When you think about the wedding business and how big that is uh, in the world of entertainment and reality entertainment, you know, these are all opportunities here. And so, uh, you know, again, as I look at Pier 36, I'm excited about the things that they can do. Um, uh, there's millions of dollars that is out there for them right now. We just went over a couple different numbers. Um, you know, again, 20, if they got 20 new customers from any of these strategies, 20 new clients at $35,000, that's $700,000, right? And uh, from the SEO strategies, the YouTube, um, you know, there's so many ways for them to make money. And so I hope that, uh, you know, this helps you as you look at your business or if you're a marketing professional and you're looking at how can I grow a business? Uh, these are some 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 key ways uh, that you could spot in a business and be able to grow that business as well, too. I hope to do this again more. If for if you want your business reviewed, um, feel free to reach out to um, marketinghelpcenter.org marketinghelpcenter.org. I'll see you on the next one.